If you could take a cheeseburger and turn it into fall, that's what this soup is. It's cheeseburger soup. You're gonna wanna make it. So stick around, because I'm gonna show you how. It is amazing. <laughs> So to make that delicious cheeseburger soup, the first thing that I did was brown some ground beef and see it's right here in the pan, it's just cooling. I did a pound of ground beef and then I have sauteing three quarters cup of shredded carrots, three quarter cup of onions diced, three quarter cup of celery diced, and then I put in a teaspoon of basil with a tablespoon of butter and I'm just heating it on medium heat. I was going to do a teaspoon of parsley, but I didn't know that we were all out of dried parsley. So, I wish you could smell this because, oh, it smells divine. Once this is sauteed, I'll add in the potatoes and the chicken broth. Okay, so I've added in to this four cups of diced potatoes, three cups of um, chicken broth, and then just the ground beef. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil, which you can see it's starting to do right now. And then I'll cover it and just let it cook for 10 to 12 minutes just so that those potatoes can get soft. And I'll probably stir it a couple times in between. But it's looking really good. And it's perfect because it's cold outside. The first day of being cold. So I'm excited to eat this. The potatoes are all nice and soft. It took 12 minutes, but they're perfectly done. And now over here I'm melting some butter and I'm going to pour in, that was three tablespoons of butter and a quarter cup of flour. And I'm just gonna stir this until it's nice and bubbly. And then I'll add that to the soup. It's looking good, coming together, I'm excited. All right, so now it was nice and bubbly, that roux, so I'm just stirring it into the meat mixture here. And I will let it Cook. I'm bringing it up to a boil, which it's boiling now. I'll cook this just for three to five minutes and then turn the heat to low. Okay, next I'm going to add in 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese. I'll stir that in in just a minute. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Gotta have cheese for cheeseburger soup. This is one and a half cups of milk. Then I'm going to add in salt and pepper to taste. I ended up adding a bit more milk than the one and a half cups that it called for just because it looks really thick to me. Um, but I'm gonna wait now for the rest of the Velveeta cheese to melt before I add any more in, I'm gonna taste it. Just, um, just because I know that that Velveeta, Velveeta is adding to the thickness of it, so I'll let that melt. And I may add in a little bit more milk to this, we'll see. We are almost there. I almost forgot to show you. I removed the soup from the heat and I just stirred in about a quarter cup of sour cream. So we are ready to eat this. I just need to finish up the salad, wait for Joe to get home, get the table set, and we will be ready to eat. You guys, it tastes, I took a bite of it. It tastes like fall. If you could take a cheeseburger and somehow reduce it up like this into a soup, and make it taste like a cheeseburger in the fall. That's what this tastes like. The flavors are awesome. They, they just, the cheese, it melts in your mouth just like a cheeseburger. Um, I love having the vegetables snuck in there so my kids don't know. It looks like I need to let it heat back up just for a bit to get some of that cheese still to melt. What I will probably do is serve it in the bowls and just sprinkle some shredded cheese on top just for a garnish will be all set to go. So everybody, I am all done with this and we are ready to serve it. I just wanna thank the recipe critic for this recipe. If you want the recipe, just click on the link down below that I'll have there for you so that you can try this and all of her other great recipes. What do you think of the food? Yum? Okay, so, oh it's. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, I promise it's good. 